The rapid growth of urban population has led to the corresponding increase in the demand for more social amenities. Hence, the reason for communities to partner with government on embarked on projects aimed at self-reliance. In this special report, we take you on a journey of how collective will of the people of Ifako Ijai yielded the necessary infrastructural development in the area. Welcome to Olorun Lagba community. It's over, it's over 120 years. It's my grandfather's land. You know, you go Obi, Koko, away, or get there. Uh huh. Be very sure you buy any. Lati buy any. I'll tell you, you can't do that. Then we will put you I do along. I want to contact one. She dear dear. You know, do. I've been in this area for the past 34 years. There was no house around here and there. And even when I moved in here, I did not, I had no intention to stay here because of burglary, uh, robbers, thieves. I decided to not to stay here. But on the second thought, I don't want to become a tenant forever. Then I move in. Alonu Lagba is one of the CD, uh, CDA under Efakoi Jaye, CDC. And um, we normally attend the CDC meeting once in a month. All we discuss there is the uh, development of each CDA. Economically, majority of inhabitants in Nolorun Lagba engages in small-scale industrial activities. Some are retired professionals, making the environment a cement casual one. About a year ago, we have about uh, 300 uh, you know, people living. But by now, the, inc the number of people living here has increased by 300%. We have Ausa, we have Ibo, we have Yorubas living in this area. The area is socially provided with amenities like schools and electricity amongst others, but lack good drainage systems to channel flood water when it rains and motorable roads commute in and out before the inception of the present administration in Lagos State. From here to uh, power line is Lagos. From power line to Agbado Crossing, to Agbado Junction, that's Ogun. Most of this place, when it is, there is rainfall, every area will be flooded. I can remember sometime about two years ago, a, boy, a, a child fell inside the flood and carried him away. They brought him dead. When Governor Akiumi Ambo they gave additional responsibilities to community development associations and committees, they were gingered to attract developments to their community with self-help projects and programs to complement the giant strides of the state government. Everybody is putting his own quota to the community. We are the ones doing the gutters for ourselves, drainages, roads, and people who God has blessed used to come to our aid and we do many things for the development of the area so that we can live a better life. Well, mainly it's road, you know, I mean drainages, you know, and uh, even water. Water, this, uh, yes, water projects, yes, we've done it. Olorun Lagba CDA was not an exemption. Instead of wallowing in self pity, they took the bull by the horn. They sought help of philanthropists and private individuals who reside or own business in and around their community to address their communal challenges. People are coming from every part of Nigeria to Lagos. And even people who are at Moshe, who are tenants, they buy, they bought land here and develop it. 
that's on their own efforts. Even the streets, they occupy, they give the, they give the, uh, they register it for on their own name. I think you get my point. Even the development of the road now bound on them. Omoshala Ayodeji seems to be the only one that shares the vision of the community leaders. A very blunt but hard-working Omoshala put behind his agitation for more development from the government and single-handedly construct road and drains in Olorunlagba area to ease the pains of road users. How I met here, this road especially, it was uh, in a very bad condition. And because of the business I have and the people living around here, uh, I have to spend a whole lot of money to keep the road in order to enhance or to help the event uh, management that I have in this area. Was Omoshala contribution to Olorun Lagba CDA born out of the desire to attract customers to his event center domicile in the area? Here is what he has to say. It means a lot to them because I know I have a, a good relationship with the entire community in Olorun Lagba community association. And in particular, Oreo Walk, where this business is uh, situated and I know that uh, I received commendation for the little portion of uh, the road of Tad and the entire drainage from the beginning to the end. He has done a lot. If not, you know, for him single-heartedly, you will not be able to, you know, pass this road. Yes. We are standing here, we are enjoying it, you know, it's because of his uh, efforts, single-heartedly. The leadership of Olorun Lagba community did not because Olorun Shala built the road and constructs drainage system for their homes. They gather resources to provide access links in visible areas of the community with the construction of culverts and continuous grading of the other roads in the locality. We have to start somewhere. Uh, whoever, whoever helps himself, God will help. I think you get my point. If we lift it, like we have lifted this up to this stage, I think to get to get uh, assistance from government, it will not it will not be diffi uh, difficult. I think you get my point because we have started something. If every other community can do the same, it will be very easy because there is no way government can do everything for everybody. Olorun Lagba is in dear need of help from corporate organizations and other well-meaning Nigerians to make the community viable for habitation. I'm appealing to corporate organizations, individuals that are well to do, should come to our aid. Because we don't, we don't say government should uh, do everything, but individuals too can come to our aid. We are appealing to them. Corporate, individuals, uh, companies and so on and so forth. <music>